Welcome to the Snowboy YouTube channel. Southern town last summer to show the folks a brand new way of life. But all you've shown the folks around here is trouble, and you've only added misery to their strife. Your concern is not to help the people, and I'll say again, though it's been often said, your concern is just to bring discomfort, my friend, and your policy is just a little red. Now ain't I right? Ain't you right? Ain't you right? It matters not to you how people suffer And should they you consider that a gain You bring a lot of trouble to the town and then you leave That's part of your communistic game I detect a little communism I can see it in the things you do Communism, socialism, call it what you like There's very little difference in the two Now ain't I right? Ain't you right? Ain't you right? Your followers sometimes have been a bearded, bathless bunch There's even... The stage for the 2024 presidential election has now been set. After the American Conservative and the Democratic parties have convened, the candidates for both parties have been declared. For the Democratic Party, we have the current California governor and former lieutenant governor, Gavin Newsom, and his running mate will be the New York representative, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, AOC. For the American conservatives, we have Donald Trump's son, with no political experience, Donald Trump Jr., and his running mate will be the controversial and infamous Georgia representative, Marjorie Taylor Greene, MTG. Polls have already come in after these declared, predicting a Democratic landslide, winning states that they haven't won in a long time, like North Carolina, Indiana, Missouri. It is expected to be a Democratic landslide. Please stay tuned for more information as it comes available. There's even been a minister or two, a priest, a nun, a rabbi, and an educated man have listened and been taken in by you. All the country's full of two-faced politicians Who encourage you with words that go like this Burn your draft card if you like, it's good to disagree That's a get acquainted communistic kiss Now ain't I right? Ain't you right? Ain't you right? One politician said it would be nice to send some blood And help the enemy in Vietnam that's what he says, here's what I say, let's just keep the blood. Instead, let's send that politician man. Let's rid the country of the politicians who coddle tramps and march out in our streets, protesting those who want to fight for freedom, my friend. This kind of leader makes our country weak. Now, ain't I right? Ain't you right? Let's look and find the strong and able leaders. These are hard things. But I'm an American president. Not a president of red America, blue America, but of all America. And I believe it's my duty.
following message has been transmitted at the request of the Scranton Wilkes Bar Police Department. A bomb has exploded at a rally where President Joe Biden has been speaking at. It has been confirmed that the bomb has exploded at the rally. Multiple people have been injured or killed, and the current status of President Biden is unknown at the moment. All residents within 10 to 15 miles of the political rally are advised to remain vigilant and lock all doors and windows. The suspect is unknown at this time. This is WNEP-TV Channel 16, serving the scranton wilkes Bar area. Stay tuned to news and media outlets for more information on this situation. This is an NBC special report. We, tr we sadly announced the death of President Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. at the age of 83. While President Biden was giving a speech in Scranton, Pennsylvania, promoting the campaign of Newsom and AOC, a bomb was set off at his rally, killing multiple and injuring others, in and President Biden has died. Biden has been known as a great man who had a long political experience, 40 years in the Senate and eight years as vice president, and now president. Join us as the American public as we mourn the death of President Joseph Robinette Biden, Jr. Well, we just received some news that the sleepy President Joe Biden has been confirmed dead after an explosion at a rally in Scranton, Pennsylvania. I want to be perfectly honest here. He 100% deserved it. Biden was destroying our country with his radical left Democrats group. And he should burn in hell for what he did. The woke liberals are shocked right now to see who the heck got him. Who the fuck are they doing this? And they're currently blaming the conservatives right now. Donald Trump Jr. and MTG have accused the Democrats of trying to destroy American patriotism, which is 100% true. And now the polls are shifting the election in favor of the conservatives because everyone did not like Beijing Biden. Literally. The woke liberals, as you can see, are coping and desperate for a victory. As you can see...
This is NBC News Decision 2024. We have all night coverage of the 2024 election here, and we'll be seeing the states of the candidates who are projected to win and the road for each candidate to get to 270. So with the current results right now, we have Gavin Newsom is winning with 220 electoral votes to Donald Trump Jr.'s 27 electoral votes. The states of Tennessee, South Carolina, Arkansas, Louisiana, Kansas, and Oklahoma are considered too close or early to call at this point. The clock has just struck 9 p.m., so we already have calls in Arizona, Colorado, Kansas, Louisiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, New Mexico, New York, both Dakotas, Texas, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. And boys, we have a massive projection list here. It has now been projected by NBC News that Gavin Newsom will win as the 47th president-elect of the United States after winning most of the states being called New York, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, South Dakota, Texas, and a few others. But we'll give it. But some states are ex- also expected to go to Donald Trump Jr. too. He is expected to win the states of Oklahoma, Kansas, both Dakotas, and Wyoming. But the race has been called here, boys. Gavin Newsom is projected to win with 376 electoral votes to Donald Trump Jr.'s 49 electoral votes. The states of Nebraska and Louisiana are still too close to call. And hold on. We just received some breaking news that MDG has already released a statement calling the election fraudulent like the minute after it was called. So calling it a diversion of democracy and a fascist communist takeover. This is going to be the next few interesting days. Stay tuned for more information from NBC. President Kamala Harris has released a statement to the public after the mass protests that have been occurring in Kansas City and other cities and, quote-unquote, stop the steal campaigns similar to the ones in 2020 after the Democrats have defeated the American conservatives in a landslide in the largest landslide victory since the victory of LBJ, Lyndon Baines Johnson, in 1964. President Harris' statement reads that these actions and riots are dangerous and setting a dangerous precedent and they call on Trump Jr. and MTG to stop the violence but Trump Jr. has already released a statement calling Harris's statement terrible bad and pathetic 
and called on the protesters to keep fighting for the freedom and quote unquote fight against communism. MTG also released a statement calling Harris his statement stupid and dumb and even called her a communist spy for China. Newsom, the president-elect, has released a statement calling their words terrible and just plain sad and called on the violence to stop. Can't believe it. Newsom's acting like a president even when before he's actually president. Stay tuned for more information as this becomes available. This is a National Information Center statement requested by the White House. The President of the United States or a designated representative will be speaking shortly. Please stand by. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. My fellow Americans, this is currently a turbulent time for our nation. After the official results of the 2024 presidential election were released, declaring Governor Gavin Newsom the victor, Unlawful protests caused by false claims of voter fraud and suppression instigated by Donald Trump Jr., Marjorie Taylor Greene, and their supporters has sprung up in major cities across the country, which include, but are not limited to, Nashville, Tennessee, Miami, Florida, Dallas, Texas, Baltimore, Maryland, New York, New York, Los Angeles, California, Kansas City, Missouri, Phoenix, Arizona, Topeka, Kansas, New Orleans, Louisiana, Tacoma, Washington, and Chicago, Illinois. This is what the late Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. would not want to happen. I'm calling on the protesters to end the senseless violence. I am also personally calling on Donald Trump Jr. and Marjorie Taylor Greene to stop promoting baseless and false accusations like these. My fellow Americans, this is a time for us to unite as a country and a call to action to stop this riotous behavior. <laughs> Why are you American patriots listening to this radical leftist propaganda from the illegitimate President Harris? Come fight for us, for true democracy, and against these radical democratic socialists. Fight for the true America that you all love, and fight against the revival of communism in the United States of America. God bless the true Americans, and long live Donald Trump Jr. system and Kyle put this together over the weekend. It shows the two different computer models. You see more pink across central Indiana on this first model. That indicates more in the way of ice with snow to the north. The second model brings the colder air in a little bit quicker and that transitions us mo mostly over to snow uh, by the time we get to Thursday. Uh, but by Wednesday morning's commute, rain to the south, north of Indianapolis, we're dealing with that changeover starting to occur. And the thing is, uh, the cold air is going to be coming in as the storm system develops and how far that cold air pushes to the south will determine when that changeover occurs.
Greetings. I am a representative of the American Empire, headed by our true leader, Donald Trump Jr. We call on you to take action against these radical democratic socialists. Join us Christmas Day 2024 to storm the White House and remove the illegitimate President Harris from power and take our country back against these radical democratic socialists. We hope you make the right choice. Thank you and goodbye. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the fateful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. National Guard. A heavily armed mob of around 350 to 400 has been spotted storming the White House via the South Lawn entrance. The DC Police and National Guard have been spotted exchanging gunfire with the armed mob. The mob has been confirmed to be part of the group known as the American Empire, dedicated to overturning the results of the 2024 presidential election. The status of the president, vice president, and members of cabinet is currently unknown at this time. The mayor of D.C. has decided to implement a curfew for tonight and tomorrow from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Martial law has also been declared for areas 25 miles near the White House. Anyone caught either violating the curfew or martial law is subject to detainment and questioning. Do not join the armed mob. Repeat it. Do not join the armed mob. You will be arrested without legal counsel. Stay tuned to news and media outlets for more information on this immediate situation. Welcome to the special edition of WJLA FM Noon News as we're on the inauguration of Gavin Newsom at the steps of the Capitol building. 
This is two months after the mass rioting at the White House where the White House was stormed and, and President Harris just barely managed to escape. And now we're about to tune into the inauguration from our live feed at our sister station WJLA TV. Please stand by. All right, so we're in. Here's the live audio feed. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Gavin Newsom, do solemnly swear. I, Gavin Newsom, do solemnly swear. Shall faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And shall faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And to preserve with the best of my ability. And to preserve with the best of my ability. To preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. To preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God, so help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President.